Hi everyone. Today we're going to read Copper Nickel Goes Mondrian. Mr. Quickstep is looking for the future. This is Mr. Quickstep and this is his dog, Foxtrot. There's no point in looking, says Copper Nickel. If you just wait, the future will arrive. But if we stand around waiting, nothing will change, Mr. Quickstep. Quickstep replies, things will only get older. I'm looking for the new. So are we, says Tungsten. We're just on our way to pick some fresh new berries. This is Copper Nickel, and this is his dog right here, Tungsten. But that's not what Mr. Quickstep means at all. Berries have always been around, he says. The new future is full of things that don't even exist yet. I can almost smell the future, cries Foxtrot. Come on, let's go. I think it's that way. For days, Copper Nickel can't stop thinking about all the new things he, he'll miss if he stays at home. Perhaps they should go take a look just to see which way Mr. Quickstep went. Off they go on an adventure. The further they go, the stranger everything seems, and in the distance, everything looks stranger still. It seems like everyone's heading for the future, says Copper Nickel. I think we set out just in time. Tungsten? An underground train. The future feels really close now. And look, even more trains, exclaimed Copper Nickel. Let's get off here. The station is a chaos of teeming platforms, trains, stairs, hurrying passengers, bright lights, noise, and the screech and grind of brakes. Everything is moving so fast that Copper Nickel doesn't know where he's going. Suddenly, the subway doors close. Tungsten, come here. Stay there. Hurry. Wait. Help. Oh, no. Copper Nickel takes the first train back, but Tungsten's nowhere to be found. So he takes another train. And then another. If he goes to each station one by one, he will find Tungsten, won't he? Tungsten! Where'd he go? Do you see Tungsten anywhere? Copper Nickel calls Mr. Quickstep. What are you doing here? looking for the future too. No, I'm looking for Tungsten, says Copper Nickel. He's gotten lost. Dogs never get lost, says Foxtrot. Maybe it's you who's lost. Why don't we, why don't you come with me, says Mr. Quickstep. I have something to show you. But what about Tungsten, says Copper Nickel. Leave that to me, says Foxtrot. I have errands to run anyways. All Copper Nickel can think about is Tungsten. What if Foxtrot can't find him? Suddenly, he hears a familiar sound. Tungsten, where were you? I was right behind you the whole time, says Tungsten. Why were you in such a hurry? Look, I'm on the verge of a completely new future, says Mr. Quickstep. I can feel it, but there's still something missing. A touch of something so new, it may not even exist yet. What have you got here, says Copper Nickel. This is great stuff. Does it stick to everything? Can I give it a try? Hey, hang on, says Mr. Quickstep. 
Yes, hang on and listen to this, cries Foxtrot. It's the very latest, coolest, most swinging new sound around. And they dance. This is it, exclaimed Mr. Quickstep. This is exactly what I've been looking for. This is what the future looks like. Hey, Tungsten, calls Copper Nickel. It looks like you've found a new style too. Not at all, says Tungsten. I've always been ahead of my time. The end. Hi everyone. Um, thank you for signing up for the Little Artist Preschool Program. Um, I just want to start off by showing you um, what we're going to be looking at over the next three weeks. So the first artist that we're going to be um, learning about is Pete Mondrian, and he painted this piece. And then the second week we're going to talk about uh, Gustav Klimt. And then the third week we're going to talk about George Seurat. So this first week, like I said, we're going to talk about Piet Mondrian. Uh, Piet Mondrian lived in the Netherlands um, between 1872 and 1944. He started off actually painting landscapes, but um, he felt unsatisfied with that. So he started to paint abstract art. Abstract just means that um, he's painting with color, and shapes and he's not painting people, places, or things that you could easily recognize. So what he wanted to do with his art was show you color and nice little shapes and have you feel something when you're looking at the art. Um, he became extremely famous for this and he ended up actually um, influencing architecture and fashion and even advertising. So people wanted to see wanted to take what he painted and actually apply it to other things as well. So you can actually find dresses that look like this. Um, and these are very similar, but each of his pieces were, I don't wanna say exactly the same because they're not, but they had the same kind of um, like squares, rectangles, like you see here. So he has some rectangles. This one has some nice little squares. And then he would use the primary colors. So the primary colors are red blue and yellow, and he would use those um, as the main part of his pieces. And so we are actually going to do something very similar. Um, we are going to take our little plates here and we're going to transform them into this. And then um, your whoever is helping you, if they wanted to, you guys could actually hang these in the windows and they look really cool when the sunlight comes through. So to get started, just make sure that you have all of your pieces. Um, you will need to grab glue from um, your own house. So make sure you have that out because that's kind of the first step. So you have these little pieces and you can kind of, we didn't realize when we bought these that they say this, so I like to cover it up. So you just kind of put it out in a way that you like. So he used uh, lots of squares and rectangles. So I'm gonna try to do something very similar. And some of the pieces, they fit better in one area than the other, but it's really up to you what it looks like. And if there are like little gaps like this, that's okay. It's really whatever, however you want it to look. So I'm gonna get this set up first to see what I want it to look like. I think that looks kind of nice. So then I'm gonna glue it on. So I'm gonna start with this piece. I'm just gonna do, and then I'm gonna flip it over. Try not to use too much glue because if you do, um, it'll kind of come out the sides. And then when you go to um, paint it, you're gonna have to, you're gonna get sticky and you're gonna have glue all over your paint. Not that being dirty is a problem, cause that's fun. I'm gonna have paint all over myself by the time this is over, but that's okay. So then I'm gonna get this piece and I'm gonna put it here. Glue's making funny sounds. I'm 
I want to make this one look a little different than the one that I did for the example because that's all part of the fun. Uh, I think actually I want to put this down here instead so then I have this giant spot. So once you have the um, pieces of construction paper glued where you want them, you can start painting. You can start with any color you want. Yellow is my favorite color, so I always make the big square yellow because I love it. And this is a really nice yellow. And you're just going to paint your square. Try not to get it on the black piece, but if you do, you can actually just scratch it off. It's really easy. Um, and you, you will get some on there and that's okay. See, like I just did, but I can wipe it off. So I like to do two coats for the paint because one coat isn't enough. So I'm going to paint this yellow. And then I'm going to pick a different part to work on while this dries. So I'm just roll my water so I don't accidentally mix my colors. So I think I want to do blue next because it's really pretty. So I'm going to put it here. See, I just put it on there, but I can see it just wipes off. If it's on there and it's dry and you want to take it off, you can use your fingernail and scratch it. The blue doesn't always need two coats because it's darker. So it's really up to what you want to do. So then I'm going to go on to a different color. One thing I like about uh, Mondrian's paintings too is that he uses white. And I think that it just looks really nice with all the other bright colors. So I want to put some white on here too. And after each time you finish a square, you want to put your um, paintbrush in some water and wipe it off on a paper towel so that way you get your colors so they don't bleed together. And we just red. And because my little um, piece of paper doesn't go over here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of color it in. And you can color, if you want every square to be red, you can make every square red. If you want every square blue, you can do that. If you just want to use two colors, that's okay. Just like with Mondrian wanting to use his art to make uh, people feel something, you should be able to do the same with yours. So if you feel like it looks prettier with just a few colors, then you can go ahead and do that because you are the artist. So I'm using more white on this one because I like it. And then of course I'm going to use yellow because like I said, it's my absolute favorite. So I have to. And then I think I'm going to use another blue because that's a really nice blue. So now that I've finished coloring in all of my, my shapes, I'm going to go over them with another layer of paint. Because it will kind of fill in these gaps from the bristles on the brush. It'll make it look a little nicer. But if you think that you don't, you know, that it looks fine with just one, then go ahead and keep it just one. You don't have to do it more than once. I'm just going to go over it, make it a little brighter, use a little bit more paint. And because we already have these down, if you're using the same color, you don't have to put it into your water because you really want the paint that's already on the brush. Just when you switch colors, you wanna put it in the water. So. 
and the paint dries really fast so really right after your second coat you really only need to wait maybe three minutes and it will be all done and ready to go you can go ahead and put it in the window or you could just hold it up to the light um you could hang it up in your room be kind of cool to put your own artwork in your room almost done this one the paint got a lot of water in it so that's why it kind of looks different but you can see I made a huge mess there but I can just wipe it off that's okay. I think it still looks pretty good. Okay. If you have some down here that you don't want down there, you can just wipe it off. And that's it. That's your own Mondrian inspired piece of art. Please let us know what yours looks like. I really want to see them. Um, you can just comment on Facebook. You could send it to us in an email. Um, we are really excited. We hope that you like this and we will see you next week.